Thank you. Wonderful. Bless you. Uh, good to see you. Uh, amen. Good to see you, Prophet Joel. Pastor Joel, got to, good to see you. Senang berjumpa dengan Pak Joel. Thank you so much yeah. that you can come in our live tonight. I believe it's no accident, but I believe God will uh, give the message for every of us, especially in Indonesia. But actually, in live stream, it's international. Yes. Thank you so much. Amen. Absolutely. Well, I I met you a few years ago, so uh, it's good to see this full circle. Yeah, saya saya pernah berjumpa dengan Pak Joel beberapa tahun yang lalu, dan saya melihat satu sirkus yang terjadi di sini. And I believe we are in a full circle season right now. Dan saya percaya kita ada di dalam siklus yang Tuhan berikan saat ini. And what that means, full circle, it means things are turning back around in your life. Artinya musim ini yang akan berbalik di dalam kehidupan saudara. I want you to turn your hand around like this. Saya ingin saudara mengikuti saya berputar tangan saudara seperti ini. Because things are turning back around in your life. Supaya segala sesuatunya berbalik kembali ke dalam kehidupan anda. See something you need to understand is that God is a God of times and seasons. Satu hal yang perlu saudara ketahui adalah Tuhan adalah Tuhan yang memegang waktu dan kendali. Amen. Which means He is a God of cycles. Artinya Tuhan yang memegang setiap siklus yang terjadi. So you will either pass a test or you will have to repeat the test. Baik apakah saudara sudah lulus dalam ujian itu, apakah saudara harus mengulang di dalam ujian itu? So I believe this is a full circle season. Saya percaya ini adalah empat siklus muslim yang terjadi. What does that mean? Apa artinya, saudara? That means something similar from the past is happening again right now. Artinya sesuatu yang telah terjadi sebelumnya akan terjadi kembali lagi, lagi saudara. Amin. But it's not the same. Itu bukan sesuatu yang sama, saudara. It's bigger and it's better. Itu akan lebih besar dan lebih baik lagi. Because things continue to increase in the spirit of God. Karena sesuatu itu terus bertumbuh di dalam alam roh. Now, if you believe it's a full circle season, I want you to say amen. Amen. Kalau saudara percaya dengan sirkus yang saya musim yang kata-kata ini, katakan amin, saudara. Amin. Amen and amen. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Praise God. Amen. Tangan saudara yang katakan amin, saudara. So, I want to thank you, my good friend, uh, Prophet Abraham Joel, for having me today. God bless you. Ya, saya bersyukur so berterima kasih kepada Joel untuk saya bisa hadir di malam hari ini. When I ministered in Singapore in 2019, you came out and saw me, and we met then, and it's good to reconnect again after those years. Yes. Saya bertemu dengan Pak Joel di tahun 2019, dan kami ketemu di sana, di sana, dan senang kembali. Hari ini bisa rekoneksi kembali. Amen. Amen. And I'm so excited because it's time for Indonesia and Southeast Asia to rise up. Dan saya sangat bersemangat sekali karena ini adalah waktunya untuk Indonesia dan Asia Tenggara untuk bangkit kembali. Amen. Dulu saya tinggal di Penang, Malaysia. Bisa cakap sedikit bahasa. Bisa. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, dulu saya tinggal di Malaysia di uh, tiga tahun. And uh, sebenarnya saya orang Korea, Amerika. Wow. Paham? So you, paham. Paham. <laughs> so yeah. you can switch in Bahasa, Pastor. <laughs> yeah, sedikit, sedikit. It's been a while. It's been a while. But, <clears throat> but amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm happy to be here. And uh, have I met you before, uh, Ayn? Ayn. Uh, this is the first time, Pastor. Oh, amen. Oh, Shaka. I want everybody to lift up your hands right now. Saya ingin saudara semuanya angkat tangan. Thank you, Lord, for the power of God. Terima kasih Tuhan untuk kuasaMu. Amen. And we release the hosts of heaven right now. Saya melepaskan kuasa Tuhan surga atas saat ini. We release the glory of God right now. Kami lepaskan kemuliaan Tuhan saat ini. Over these airwaves. Atas jaringan yang ada. Amen. That you will touch every heart. Engkau akan menjamah setiap hati. With the power of Jesus Christ. Dengan kuasa Yesus Kristus Tuhan. If you believe it, say amen. Kalau amen. saudara percaya, katakan amin, saudara. Praise Now, friends, I'm going to begin to share the word that God has given me. 
Saya akan membagikan firman Tuhan dengan topik yang Tuhan berikan kepada saya. But I want you to share this YouTube link with somebody right now. Tapi saya ingin juga saudara membagi, membagikan link ini kepada teman-teman saudara. Because the man of God is in the room right now. Karena hambanya ada di dalam uh, ruangan saat ini. And the Lord has a word for you. Dan Tuhan mempunyai perkataan buat saudara. God has an impartation for you. Tuhan punya satu yang disiapkan buat saudara. Amen. Amen, saudara. So share this room, this broadcast, this link with somebody, and let's continue to grow the atmosphere. Bagikan broadcast ini, link ini kepada teman-teman saudara supaya atmosfer ini semakin tersebar, saudara. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, first I want to share. I just came back from Korea literally a few days ago. Baru-baru saja saya baru bahas saja kembali dari Korea, saudara. Now I'm born and raised in America, but my parents are Korean. Okay, saya lahir dan tinggal di Amerika, tapi orang tua saya berasal dari Korea. But I have not been to Korea since 2017. Saya belum kembali lagi Korea sejak tahun 2017. Now this was a very special and important trip. Dan ini adalah merupakan trip yang begitu penting buat saya. Has anybody ever heard of Dr. Yonggi Cho? Apakah ada yang pernah yes? Pernah mendengar tentang uh, Dr. Yonggi Cho? Dr. Yonggi Cho has the biggest church in the world. Dr. Yonggi Cho ini mempunyai sebuah gereja yang sangat besar, saudara. He is famous for the prayer mountain. Dia terkenal dengan mempunyai gunung doa yang besar. I believe Dr. Cho even preached in Indonesia before. Ya, yeah, saya percaya juga Dr. Yonggi Cho juga pernah khotbah di Indonesia. Yes. But this time I ministered at the prayer mountain of Dr. Yonggi Cho. Dan saat ini saya berkhotbah dari gunung doanya tempat Pak Yonggi Cho. Now what's interesting is the first day I was supposed to minister. Yang menarik ada ketika pertama kali saya men- ber- melayani the leaders of the prayer mountain pulled me aside and said Dr. Benlam he cannot preach here. Para pemimpin di Gunung Doa itu menarik saya ke samping berkata saya tidak bisa berkhotbah hari itu. This was right before I was going to go up and preach. Padahal saya sudah siap-siap untuk naik untuk berkhotbah Saudara. And as these leaders pulled me aside and said you cannot preach They began to show me an email that somebody sent them. Dan ketika mereka menarik saya ke samping untuk tidak supaya tidak berkot pada mereka menunjukkan kepada satu sebuah email kepada saya. And this email was some false allegation against me. Dan email ini adalah dari satu tempat yang melawan saya, saudara. So the leader said, Dr. Benham cannot preach here today. Jadi para pemimpin di sana berkata, Pak Dr. Benlim, hari ini kamu tidak bisa berkhotbah. Have you ever experienced resistance in a certain area of your life? Apakah saudara pernah mengalami hal seperti ini satu perlawanan di dalam hidup saudara? Well, God has a plan for you. Tapi Tuhan punya rencana buat saudara. Wow. Amen. Amen. So the next day, my father flies in from the Philippines. Jadi hari berikutnya papa saya terbang dari Filipina, saudara. My father is also a pastor and missionary in the Philippines, Asia right now. Papa saya itu adalah seorang pendeta dan seorang penginjil dari Filipina. So the next day my father comes and Jadi, we meet with those leaders one more time. Jadi hari berikutnya ketika papa saya datang dan kami bertemu kepada semua para pemimpin di sana. I want you to say one more time. Sekali lagi saya mau katakan bahwa Amen, say one more time. Katakan sekali lagi saudara. So the next day with my father, we meet with the pastors and leaders one more time. Jadi waktu itu sekali lagi kami bertemu kepada para pemimpin di sana. The day before, the leaders were very angry. Padahal hari sehari sebelumnya para pemimpin di sana sangat marah saudara. But the next day, the leaders were very happy. Tapi di hari berikutnya, para pemimpin di sana begitu senang, saudara. The atmosphere had shifted. Atmosfer di sana sudah berubah. Wow. 
they became friends with my father and they began to take pictures together. Mereka menjadi ramah kepada papa saya dan kami mengambil foto bersama, saudara. The day before they were my enemies. Hari hari sebelumnya mereka itu seperti musuh saya. They said Dr. Benlin cannot preach here. Mereka bilang, Dr. Benlin, kamu tidak bisa berkhotbah di sini. The next day. Hari berikutnya. I want you to say the next day. Saya katakan hari berikutnya. My father comes and the whole thing changes. Ketika papa saya datang, segala sesuatunya mulai berubah, saudara. They act very friendly. Mereka menjadi bertindak seperti menjadi ramah. And they begin to take photos with us. Dan mereka mulai mengambil foto bersama. And guess what? Dan te- tebak, saudara, apa yang terjadi? They said, Dr. Ben Lim, the next time you come back, we want you to preach at the 6,000 seater. Dan dia ber- mereka berkata, lain kali kalau datang lagi, Pak, Pak Dr. Ben Lim, kamu harus berkhotbah di depan 6,000 orang. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. God will turn something that the devil meant for evil, he will turn it around for good. Amen. Tuhan akan mengubah segala sesuatu yang dibuat ya, uh, dari si jahat, dari yang tidak baik, Tuhan akan mengubahnya ke sesuatu yang baik. If you believe it, say amen. Kalau saudara percaya, katakan amin, saudara. Now you see that day was Friday. Hari itu tuh hari Jumat, saudara. And that night I ministered and there were over 50 people out of 400 people that received a miracle. Dan hari itu uh, banyak orang kita sampai 50 sampai 400 orang yang menerima mukjizat. One lady is a famous news reporter on the news on TV. Ya, ada seorang ibu waktu itu seorang wartawan terkenal. But she had Parkinson's disease. For 16 years. Tapi dia mempunyai satu penyakit yang sudah bersama dengan dia selama 16 tahun, saudara. So she was in a wheelchair for 16 years. Jadi dia ada di kursi roda selama 16 tahun. She could not even turn around in her bed, so her husband had to move her. Bahkan dia tidak bisa membalikkan badan dia di atas kasur, saudara. Jadi suaminya itu harus menolong dia untuk membalikkan badan. But she came to the meeting that night. Tapi malam itu ibu ini datang di ibadah. Received healing in her body. Menerima kesembuhan di dalam tubuhnya. She began to get up and she ran all around the room. Wow, dia mulai bangkit dan bisa berlari keliling di tempat ibadah itu, Saudara. Wow. And now this video is going viral in Korea. Dan wow. video ini menjadi viral di Korea, Saudara. And this lady now she's walking, she's driving a car. She is back to normal after 16 years. Dan ibu ini sekarang sudah bisa berjalan, bisa nyetir mobil dan sudah normal. Untuk Now I want to Now I want you to hear this. Saya ingin Saudara mendengarkan ini Saudara. Because my translator there was an older lady. Karena waktu itu penerjemah saya adalah seorang ibu yang uh, sudah But tua. She is she is one of the top translators in Korea. Tapi dia adalah seorang penerjemah yang top di waktu itu di sana. And she said, "Wow, Dr. Ben, I have never seen anything like this in 40 years of ministry." Dan dia katakan, "Wow, Pak Bendin, saya belum pernah menemukan melihat seperti ini selama 40 tahun pelayanan saya." She translates every week for big preachers that come to Korea. Setiap minggu dia menerjemahkan begitu banyak hamba Tuhan besar yang datang ke sana setiap minggu, Saudara. Bill Johnson, Cheon. Ada Bill Johnson, ada Cheon. David Hogan, Chuck Pierce. Ada Pastor Chucksfield, ada Pastor David. But this translator said, I've never seen anything like this in 40 years of ministry. Tapi penerjemah ini berkata, saya belum pernah melihat seperti ini selama 40 tahun pelayanan saya. But it gets better. Tapi ada sesuatu yang lebih baik lagi, saudara. Someone say hallelujah. 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 My father was talking to me saying, Pastor Ben, I want to leave the Philippines. Dan Bapak saya berkata kepada saya, saya ingin meninggalkan Filipin. And guess what? I gave, I now gave my father a job. Dan, <coughs> dan tebak saudara, saya memberikan satu tugas kepada Bapak saya. By my connection, 
Now my father is going to move to Korea and work for me. Dan papa saya itu harus berpindah ke Korea untuk bekerja membantu saya. My father is going to translate my books and all my videos into Korean. Jadi papa saya harus mentranslate semua buku dan video dalam bahasa Korea. Now my father will begin to translate other people's books into Korean. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Wow. <laughs> dan sekarang papa saya juga menebarkan buku-buku yang lain ke dalam bahasa Korea, saudara. And guess what? Dan tebak apa, saudara? My host there says, Pastor Ben, I have a small church of that could seat 50 people. Your father can use it right now. Wow, dan ada satu ho, ho, teman saya host di sana yang berkata ada sebuah gereja kecil dengan kapasitas 50 yang bisa dipakai oleh Papa Pastor uh, Ben Lee. Amen. My host is a successful businesswoman. Dan host saya ini ada seorang wanita businessman yang sukses. And she said, Dr. Ben, I have extra office spaces for your father. Dan dia berkata, Dr. Ben, saya punya satu ruangan ekstra yang bisa dipakai oleh papamu. I have a one bedroom apartment your father can stay in. Dan saya punya satu apartemen tempat tidur yang bisa dipakai oleh papamu juga. Someone say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah, saudara. What the devil meant for evil, God will use it for good. Apa yang direncanakan iblis untuk sesuatu yang jahat, tapi Tuhan akan ubahkan menjadi sesuatu yang baik bagi saudara. The enemy tried to block my destiny. Musuh mencoba untuk memblok destiny saya. I am Korean American. Saya seorang Korea Amerika, saudara. Korea is my inheritance. Korea adalah warisan saya. Asia is my inheritance. Kok Asia juga juga bagian dari warisan saya. So the enemy tried to stop me, but now my father is working for me in Korea. Ya, iblis mencoba menghentikan segala sesuatunya, tapi sekarang papa sekar papa saya berpindah ke Korea untuk membantu saya. Someone say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah, saudara. So now I'm going back to Korea in May. Dan saya akan kembali ke Korea di bulan Mei nanti. And we are planning a 3000 crusade. Dan kami merencanakan untuk 3000 KKR, saudara. Amen. Amen. I would, I would love for you, Prophet Joel, to come. Ya, saya juga meng, ingin mengundang Pak Joel tuh kalau bisa datang. We are gathering delegates from Mongolia, Singapore, Malaysia. I would love Indonesia, different people from different Asian countries to come because it's going to be a powerful time. Ya, saya juga mengundang para uh, delegasi dari Mongolia, Singapore, Malaysia, dari berbagai negara yang di Asia supaya bisa bergabung di, dengan kami. Someone say amen. Katakan amin, saudara. But I'm sharing this because this is the full circle season. Saya membagikan hal ini karena ini adalah merupakan empat musim, saudara. Every word and promise that God has spoken over your life, it will come to pass. Setiap dan semua janji Tuhan yang Tuhan pernah katakan itu akan terjadi dalam hidup saudara. And I believe God is saying the nations are at hand, nations, nations and souls. Dan Jodoh Tuhan berkata akan memberikan bangsa-bangsa dan jiwa-jiwa kepada saudara. Amin. I want to go to the word of God right now. Dan sekarang saya akan masuk ke dalam firman Tuhan. Yes, Lord. Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 14. Yes, Ezekiel 28. 14. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 28 verse 14. Yes, Ezekiel 28 ayat ke-14. Yes, 14, I'll read one verse, you read one verse. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. Go ahead. Aku berikan ke tempatmu dekat kerup yang berjaga. Di gunung kudus Allah, engkau berada. Dan berjalan-jalan di tengah batu-batu yang bercahaya-cahaya. Now, I want you to say that word, anointed cherub. Dan saya ingin saudara berkata, gunung kudus Allah. Just at verse 14, thank you. Balik ke 14 tadi. Now, what that word, anointed cherub, what that word means is mashal. Dan arti dari, uh, berasal dari kata mashal, tempat kerup Tuhan, gunung kudus Tuhan. 
That specific word for anointed in English is mashal in the Hebrew. Itu adalah kata Ibrani untuk kata yang diurapi adalah mashal. And what mashal means dominion, gain control, and govern. Artinya mashal ini artinya adalah penguasaan, sesuatu yang menguasai tempat itu. I believe this year is the year of dominion. Amin. Saya percaya ini adalah tahun ini, adalah tahun penguasaan, saudara. Where kings and queens are gonna arise, and you are going to govern and gain control. Di mana raja dan ratu ini akan bangkit, di mana saudara akan bangkit dan memerintah di sana. Now this passage is actually talking about Lucifer. Dan pesan yang saya sampaikan ini adalah tentang Lucifer, saudara. This is a passage where God is talking about Lucifer who fell from heaven, of course. Yaitu Lucifer yang jatuh yang dari surga tentunya, saudara. But God says, you were the anointed cherub who covers. Tapi di sana kan dikatakan, engkau di tempat-tempat di tempat kerup yang berjaga. I want you to stretch out your arms like this. Saya ingin saudara, me, tangan saudara di stretch seperti ini. Because the anointing is going to cover your life. Karena urapan Tuhan yang akan menutupi saudara. The anointing is going to cover the whole world. Dan urapan Tuhanlah yang akan menutupi dan melindungi dunia ini. The glory of God is going to cover Indonesia. Kemuliaan Tuhan yang akan menutupi Indonesia. Amen. Now if you believe it, shout hallelujah. Kalau saudara percaya katakan hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that word mashal also is a mimshak. Arti kata mashal juga adalah pintu yang tertutup. Sorry, sorry, sorry Pastor. Mimshak. Yes, mimshak. Mimshak. Yeah, mimshak. And what that word mimshak means is to spread out. Artinya untuk supaya bisa tersebar luas, saudara. It means that you're being spread out north, east, south, and west. Dan saudara akan tersebar ke utara, barat, timur, dan selatan. God is spreading you out. Tuhan akan menyebarkan, meluaskan saudara. Because the glory of God on your life is so great, He's spreading you out. Karena kemuliaan Tuhan atas hidup saudara begitu besar dan Tuhan akan memperluas saudara. I believe this is a year to take dominion. Saya percaya ini adalah tahun penguasaan, saudara mengambil alih. To gain control and to govern. Saudara mengamegang kendali dan menguasai, saudara. Let's go to Genesis 9 verse 7. Mari kita di dalam kejadian 9 ayat 7. Glory be to God. Yes, the word of God says, but as for you, be fruitful and multiply. Spread out across the earth and multiply upon it. Dan kamu beranak cucu lah dan bertambah banyak, sehingga tak terbilang jumlahmu di atas bumi. Ya, bertambah banyaklah di atasnya. This is a year and season for you to multiply and to spread out. Ini adalah tahun dan musim di mana saudara akan uh, diluaskan, diperluas dan bermultiplikasi. You see, when somebody moves in the mimshak anointing, ketika saudara masuk di dalam urapan seperti ini, then you take over everything. Dan saudara akan mengambil alih segala sesuatunya. The Bible says David became more and more powerful. Firman Tuhan berkata Daud menjadi tambah berkuasa semakin hari semakin berkuasa. The Bible says that Isaac became more and more rich until he became Jadi, very wealthy. Dan di Ishak dikatakan juga makin hari dia makin semakin kaya dan bertambah kaya dan kian kaya raya. This is the year of the unstoppable anointing. Tahun ini adalah tahun urapan unstoppable. Urapan tahun yang tidak bisa dihentikan. Like a tsunami wave, it cannot be stopped. Seperti gelombang tsunami yang tidak bisa dihentikan, saudara. The power of God is going to sweep America and the nations of the earth. Kuasa Tuhan akan 
akan datang kepada Amerika dan bagian-bagian lainnya. And it cannot be stopped. Dan itu tidak bisa dihentikan, saudara. All corruption will fall down. Semua korupsi itu akan jatuh. All immorality will fall down. Semua hal-hal imoralitas juga akan jatuh, saudara. Everything demonic will fall down. Segala hal yang berbau kejahatan itu juga akan jatuh. Because of the glory of God that's spreading out. Oleh karena kemuliaan Tuhan yang tersebar luas di mana-mana. I want you to spread out your arms and say I'm spreading out. Saya ingin saudara membuka tangan saudara seperti ini dan katakan saya tersebar luas. Like the wings of an eagle. Seperti sayap raja wali saudara. Like the wings of angels. Seperti sayap malaikat saudara. God is going to expand you. Tuhan akan memperluas saudara. Man. And you're going to take dominion over the earth. Dan saudara akan memegang pengendali atau penguasaan atas bumi ini. Your ministry and your business. Atas pelayanan saudara dan bisnis saudara. Is going to be unstoppable in Jesus name. Akan menjadi sesuatu yang tidak bisa dihentikan di dalam nama Yesus. Amen. Just like the flood of Noah. Seperti uh, banjir yang waktu Nuh ter- waktu itu. When the flood of Noah came, it covered the whole earth. Ketika banjir Nuh terjadi waktu itu meliputi seluruh bumi. It wasn't just one part or one area, it was the whole earth. Tidak terjadi hanya di satu tempat atau satu bagian tapi menutupi seluruh bumi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that they were in uh, the Bible says that the flood came for 40 days. Dan dikatakan dalam firman Tuhan bahwa banjir itu terjadi selama 40 hari. However, it took one year for all the waters to disappear. Dan membutuhkan waktu satu tahun untuk air itu itu surut, saudara. The grace of God in your life is going to take over everything. Anugerah Tuhan di dalam hidupmu akan mengambil alih segala sesuatu yang terjadi dalam hidupmu. Amen. Just like those leaders in Korea tried to stop me from preaching. Seperti para pemimpin yang di Korea waktu itu yang mencoba menghentikan saya untuk berkhotbah. But there were over 50 people who received healing miracles in their body. Tapi terjadi 50 orang yang menerima kesembuhan di tubuh mereka waktu itu. Amen. And now the video is going viral. Dan video itu sekarang menjadi viral di mana-mana. And now I got my father a job and my father is now moving to Korea. Oof. Dan saya mendapatkan pekerjaan buat papa saya dan papa saya harus pindah ke Korea untuk membantu saya. And I'm returning to Korea in May for a bigger greater meeting. Dan saya akan kembali ke Korea di bulan Mei untuk pertemuan ibadah yang lebih besar lagi. Somebody say take over. Katakan saudara, ambil alih. Somebody say dominion. Katakan kekuasaan penguasaan It's the Memshak anointing Ada satu urapan yang tidak bisa ditutupi And God is spreading out his favor over your life Dan Tuhan akan menyebarkan favornya perkenanannya atas hidup saudara This is a season where you will only go from glory to glory Ini adalah musim di mana engkau akan memasuki dari satu kemuliaan kepada kemuliaan yang lain You will not be stopped Engkau tidak bisa dihentikan. God is opening up doors for you, Indonesia. Tuhan sedang membukakan pintu bagi saudara Indonesia. And even in this month of December and Hanukkah. Dan di pada dan juga di bulan Desember ini. And Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Dan Hanukkah. Where Hanukkah is a Jewish festival. Dan ini adalah uh, bulan perayaan Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Of great victory against the enemies. Yaitu uh, kemenangan besar da- dalam menghadapi musuh. God is going to release Hanukkah miracles in this month. Amen. Dan Tuhan akan melepaskan mujizat Hanukkah di, bul- di musim ini. And even as December is the 12th month, the month the number 12. Wow. Dan di bulan Desember, bulan ke-12. 12 in the Hebrew means kingdom and government. Dan di, di Yunani, Ibrani diartikan 
uh, king uh, kerajaan sorry kingdom and what pastor government oh artinya kerajaan dan pemerintah amen 12 tribes 12 disciples 12 apostles oh my God. 12 suku 12 murid 12 rasul so in this month of december god is releasing a governmental mantle amen jadi di bulan desember ini Tuhan sedang melepaskan uh, kuasa pemerintahan kepada setiap kita he is releasing keys and crowns dia sedang melepaskan kunci dan mahkotanya inheritances and wealth di dalam warisan dan kekayaan saudara someone say governmental Government. katakan pemerintahan someone say amen. amen katakan amin saudara now prophet abraham we could remove the the verse please thank you so in this season god is going to increase everything in your life jadi di musim ini tuhan ingin menaikkan segala sesuatu yang ada dalam kehidupan saudara if you receive it say amen kalau saudara terima itu katakan amin now i believe this year 2023 and of course we are already in 5783 dan saya percaya di tahun 2023 ini kita siap untuk menerima sesuatu yang besar dari tuhan di tahun 2023 ini the Lord gave me three words for this year. Tuhan memberikan tiga hal untuk tahun itu, tahun ini, tiga hal, saudara. Why three? Kenapa tiga? Because this is the year of the three. Karena ini adalah tahun ketiga. This is the year of the three. Karena ini adalah tahun tiga. And if you understand Hebrew and Bible foundation every number is significant. Kalau saudara mengerti tentang uh, Ibrani, kalender Ibrani, angka 3 ini ada sesuatu yang mempunyai makna yang signifikan. The Lord gave me three words. The first one is dominion. Tuhan memberikan tiga perkataan buat saya, yaitu yang pertama dominion, penguasaan. The second word is direction. Yang kedua adalah uh, direksi atau tuntunan. And the third word is resurrection. Yang ketiga adalah kebangkitan, resurrection, kebangkitan. This is a year of resurrection power. Ini adalah tahun kebangkitan kuasa Tuhan. The number three stands for the third day of Jesus' resurrection. Angka tiga juga juga berarti di mana uh, di mana hari ketiga Tuhan bangkit. The devil tried to kill you. The devil tried to bury you in the grave. Iblis mencoba mengubur saudara di di kubur saudara. But on the third day, Jesus rose again. Tapi di hari ketiga Yesus bangkit saudara. And when Jesus rose from the grave, the Bible says okay. he rose with keys in his hand. Dan ketika Yesus bangkit dari kuburnya, Firman Tuhan berkata, Yesus bangkit dengan membawa kunci-kunci. Somebody say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. He rose with keys in his hand. Dia bangkit dengan membawa kunci di tangannya. I believe the last two, three years with COVID, it's been very difficult for so many people. Ya, yeah, saya percaya dua, tiga tahun terakhir ini ketika di mana terjadi COVID, kita banyak mengalami kesulitan, saudara. Many things have changed globally. Banyak hal yang terjadi se yang berubah secara global. The devil tried to kill you and your health. Iblis mencoba membunuh saudara dan kesehatan saudara. Your business, your ministry. Pelayanan saudara, bisnis saudara. Many of you, you isolated and you became alone. Banyak dari saudara diisolasi dan saudara merasa sendiri. You see, they thought they killed Jesus, but after three days, he rose again. Kita melihat bahwa Yesus di dibunuh tapi dia dalam waktu tiga hari dia bangkit kembali saudara. Are you ready to rise up with resurrection power? Apakah saudara siap untuk bangkit dengan kuasa kebangkitan ini saudara? Amin. And as you resurrect, you're going to come out with plunder. Ketika saudara bangkit dengan kebangkitan ini saudara akan bangkit dengan uh, dengan kemenangan. Amen. Amin. And I believe even this earthquake that just happened today. Dan saya percaya apa yang terjadi gempa hari ini. This is not a coincidence. Ini bukan terjadi secara kebetulan. Yes. Because whenever there is an earthquake. 
Karena ke- di mana ketika terjadi gempa bumi, the deep and hidden things begin to come out. Sesuatu yang dibawa yang mendasar di dalam itu akan keluar, saudara. Demons from the underworld begin to come out. Dan iblis yang dari bawah juga akan mencoba untuk keluar. But also at the same time, the power of God is also released. Tapi dengan di waktu yang sama kuasa Tuhan juga akan dilepaskan. I believe this volcano. Oh, the Lord says volcano, but I believe this earthquake and volcano. God is going to resurrect Indonesia in this season. Saya percaya gempa bumi dan vulkan yang terjadi di Indonesia ini akan membangkitkan Indonesia juga. Things are being shaken. Banyak hal akan tergoncang, saudara. And corruption will be exposed. Dan korupsi juga akan terekspos. And the deep things are going to be revealed. Dan banyak hal-hal yang tersembunyi itu juga akan dilepaskan, akan terkuat, saudara. Someone say amen. Katakan amin, saudara. Now, the, the news says it was a 5.6 earthquake. Dan berita tadi mengatakan terjadi 5,6 skala Richter. The, the Lord gave me the verse Isaiah 56 verse 1. Dan Tuhan berkat, berikan kepada saya di dalam Yesaya 56 ayat, ayat 1. 5.6 for Isaiah 56 1. Ya. Yeah. Uh, tadi gempa yang terjadi 5,6 skala Richter, Tuhan berikan kepada saya Yesaya 56 ayat 1. Thus says the Lord, keep justice and do righteousness, for soon my salvation will come and my righteousness will be revealed. Amen. Beginilah firman Tuhan, taatilah hukum dan tegakkanlah keadilan, sebab sebentar lagi akan datang keselamatan yang daripadaku dan keadilanku akan dinyatakan. Amen. Someone shout hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. The Bible says soon his salvation will come. Dikatakan dengan segera keselamatannya akan datang. And his righteousness will be revealed. Dan kenya, keadilannya akan dinyatakan. Like the sun that rises in the morning. Seperti uh, matahari yang terbit di pagi hari. The Bible says God rises with healing in his wings. Dan Tuhan akan memulihkan juga akan membuka sayapmu. Righteousness is being revealed. Dan kebenaran itu juga akan disingkapkan. The church of Jesus Christ is being revealed. Dan gereja-gereja Tuhan itu juga akan di, disingkapkan. Millionaires and world changers from Indonesia are being revealed. Para miliuner, para pengubah, yang orang-orang yang mengubah Indonesia juga akan dinyatakan. Amen. Thus says the Lord in Indonesia. Itu apa yang Tuhan pesan Tuhan untuk Indonesia. Even today with the 5.6 the Isaiah 56 one earthquake. Bahkan dengan gempa yang terjadi 5,6 skala Richter juga Tuhan berikan Yesaya 56 ayat 1. Oh, If you believe it and receive it shout hallelujah. Kalau saudara percaya saudara terima dan katakan amin. 6 yes 56 oh. Soon my salvation will come. Dengan segera keselamatanku akan datang. I want you to say soon. Katakan soon segera. Get ready for the segera. Bersiap sialah untuk sebentar lagi untuk segera ini saudara. Soon. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. coming. Itu sedang datang, sedang datang, sedang datang. I and I declare and I decree even by the end of this year. Dan saya nyatakan, deklarasikan, bahkan di akhir tahun ini. The miracle you've been crying out for is going to come to pass. Mujizat yang kau tangiskan itu akan datang terjadi di dalam hidupmu. Amin. Every enemy and resistance is going to fall. Amin. Setiap musuh yang melawanmu akan jatuh. Amin. God will open up doors and you shall be promoted. Tuhan akan membukakan pintu bagimu dan engkau akan dipromosikan. Amin. And resurrection power will take you out of the grave. Dan kuasa kebangkitan itu yang akan membawa saudara keluar dari kubur itu. Amin. Somebody say he's turning things around. Dan katakan saudara, Tuhan yang akan mengubah segala sesuatunya. 
Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Joe. We could take that down now. The second word God gave me is direction. Kata yang kedua yang Tuhan berikan kepada saya adalah direksi atau adalah tuntunan. This year is 2023. Jadi tahun 2023. And the Lord said, I'm giving my people prophetic direction. Dan Tuhan akan memberikan tuntunan profetiknya kepada umatnya. And God gave me Psalm 23. We could go there. Masmur 23. Dan Tuhan memberikan kepada memberikan saya ayat di Masmur 23. Psalm 23 for 2023. Masmur 23 untuk tahun 2023. Some shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. Tuhan adalah gembalaku takkan kekurangan aku. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. Ia membaringkan aku di padang yang berumput hijau, ia membimbing aku ke air yang tenang. Glory, verse 3. He restores my soul. Someone say restore. Ayat 3. Ia menyegarkan jiwaku, katakan ia menyegarkan jiwaku. Come on, say restore. Katakan disegarkan. And he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Dan ia menuntun aku di jalan yang benar oleh karena namanya. Jesus. We can go down to verse 4 on the other side. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Sekalipun aku berjalan dalam lembah kekelaman, aku tidak takut bahaya, bahaya sebab engkau besertaku, gadamu dan tongkatmu, itulah yang menghibur aku. Verse 5, hallelujah. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Engkau menyediakan hidangan bagiku di hadapan lawanku. Engkau mengurapi kepalaku dengan minyak. Pialaku penuh melimpah. And lastly, verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Kebajikan dan kemurahan belaka akan mengikuti aku seumur hidupku. Dan aku akan diam dalam rumah Tuhan sepanjang masa. Amen. My goodness, if you receive it, I, I want you to shout hallelujah. Saudara, kalau saudara menerima ya, saya ingin saudara meneriakan hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord for 2023. Ini adalah perkataan firman Tuhan untuk tahun 2023, saudara. Amen. It will be a Psalm 23 year. Ini ada akan menjadi tahun uh, Masmur 2023, Masmur 23 di tahun 2023. He is leading you out of the wilderness. Dia yang akan memimpin saudara keluar dari ke, uh, padang gurun. You will not want. Engkau tidak akan kekurangan apapun. He will prepare a table before you and your enemies. Dia yang akan menyediakan hidangan di hadapan lawanmu. Your cup will run over and your head will be filled with oil. Dan pialamu akan penuh melimpah. Who's ready for the Lord to lead you? Siapa yang saudara siapakah di antara saudara yang siap untuk saudara Tuhan pimpin dalam hidup saudara? This year, 2023, Di tahun 2023 ini, will be filled with the anointing of God. Akan penuh dengan urapan dari Tuhan. Will be filled with the glory of God. Amen. Tahun di mana penuh dengan kemuliaan Tuhan. And He's leading you because He is our good shepherd. Dan Dia yang akan memimpin saudara karena Dia adalah gembala yang baik. If you receive it, say Amen. Kalau saudara terima itu katakan Amin. Thank you so much, Prophet Joel. You see, this year, God is going to give many of you prophetic vision and direction. Tahun ini Tuhan akan memberikan visi atau penglihatan profetik dan tuntunan profetik kepada saudara. Many of us, we were in the grave and in the wilderness. Banyak dari saudara ada di dalam kubur dan di dalam uh, padang, uh, padang gurun. You wanted to give up. You wanted to stop your business. Saudara sepertinya mau berhenti menyerah dan saudara ingin menghentikan bisnis saudara. 
But the Lord is leading you out of the wilderness. Tapi Tuhan akan menuntun saudara keluar dari padang gurun ini. He's going to comfort you. Dia yang akan menghibur saudara. And he's going to anoint your head with oil. Dan dia yang akan mengurapi kepala saudara dengan minyak. And he's going to prepare a table before you and your enemies. Dan dia yang akan menyedi- menyediakan hidangan di hadapan lawan saudara. If you receive it, say amen. Kalau saudara terima, katakan amin. Amen. So the Lord said this will be a year of resurrection and of direction. Jadi Tuhan katakan tahun ini akan menjadi tahun kebangkitan dan tahun tuntunan. And the third word God gave me is dominion. Dan kata ketiga yang Tuhan berikan kepada saya adalah dominion, penguasaan. Somebody, somebody say I am unstoppable. Katakan Saudara, saya tidak bisa dihentikan. Yes. The ministry on your life is unstoppable. Pelayanan di dalam hidup Saudara tidak bisa dihentikan. Amen. Prophet Abraham Joel, this ministry will be unstoppable. Amen. Pak Abraham Joel, pelayan ini tidak bisa dihentikan. Amen. You shall spread out north, east, south, and west to many different countries. Engkau akan tersebar tersebar luas di barat, utara, timur, selatan ke banyak banyak negara. You will do these kingdom wealth conferences in Dubai, in Singapore, Hong Kong. Kau akan melakukan a conference kingdom wealth ini di Dubai, di Hong Kong dan di Singapura. Even in the United Kingdom. Oh Bahkan di United Kingdom. And different cities all across Indonesia. Dan banyak kota, berbagai kota di Indonesia. Even in Africa says God, I see uh, I see Nigeria. Bahkan di Afrika, di Nigeria. Amen. God says get ready for Africa. Dan Tuhan katakan bersiap-siap untuk Afrika. Because the nations are coming to you. Karena bangsa-bangsa akan datang kepadamu. In Jesus mighty name. Di dalam nama Tuhan yang perkasa. If you receive it, shout hallelujah. Amin. Kalau saudara percaya katakan haleluya. Wow. So the third word God gave me for this year is dominion. Jadi perkataan yang ketiga yang Tuhan berikan kepada saya adalah dominion, penguasaan. This is a year you're going to take dominion. Tahun di mana saudara akan menguasai. Let's go over to Shakarabata. Thank you, Lord. Uh, let's go over to Deuteronomy 11:24. Ulangan 24. Deuteronomy 11:24. Oh, sorry. Ulangan 11:24. Are you enjoying this broadcast today? Yes. <laughs> Are you receiving the word of the Lord today, Indonesia? Apakah saudara menerima firman Tuhan hari ini, Indonesia? Praise God. If you are receiving, I want you to give some likes and share this broadcast. Kalau saudara menerima, saya ingin saudara memberikan like dan share broadcast ini. Amen. Deuteronomy 11:24. Every place. Where the soles of your feet shall tread, it will be yours. From the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even the uttermost sea shall be your coast. Setiap tempat yang diinjak oleh telapak kakimu, kamulah yang akan memilikinya. Mulai dari padang gurun sampai gunung Lebanon, dan dari sungai itu, yakni sungai Efrat, sampai laut sebelah barat, akan menjadi daerahmu. Amen. Somebody say expansion. Katakan ada ekspansi. Ekspansi. Dominion. Ada penguasaan. Ada penguasaan. The Bible says every place the sole of your feet touch, it will be yours. The territory will be yours. Dikatakan setiap tempat yang akan yang diinjak oleh telapak kakimu, kamu akan memilikinya dan itu akan menjadi teritorimu. I want you to say every place. Sangi saudara katakan setiap tempat Every place it could be YouTube, Zoom, Instagram, Facebook. I receive it. Setiap tempat yang ada di Facebook, di YouTube, di Instagram, di Zoom. Or it could be a physical place like Bali, Jakarta, Bandung. 
Ataukah ada di kota-kota seperti Bali, Jakarta, Bandung? Every place you put your feet, it will setiap, become yours. Setiap tempat di mana engkau menginjakan kakimu, itu akan menjadi milikmu. Amen. This is a year to take territory. Ini adalah tahun di mana saudara mengambil alih kekuasaan atau teritori, saudara. Amen. I receive it. Thank you so much. Prophet Joel, if you could show a picture of Gemel, okay, which is the number three in Hebrew. Uh, Gemel. Gemel, G-I-M-E-L. Gemel, Gemel. Gemel. You see, number three okay. in Hebrew is the letter Gemel in Hebrew. Angka tiga dalam Ibrani is the letter Gemel in the alphabet. Adalah kata ada kata alfabetnya di sana saudara kalau bisa dibuka Gmail. And Gmail, what Gmail means, it Gmail means artinya. it means a foot. It means sorry a what? A foot. Foot. Yes, your foot. <laughs> Jima artinya kaki, saudara. It's your kaki. Kaki, kaki, kaki. tangan. Kaki, kaki. Yeah, kaki, kaki. Jima artinya kaki, saudara. I want you to do this. Saya ingin saudara, ini, seperti ini, saudara. Tangan Jimel saudara, saudara. means foot. Jima artinya kaki, saudara. Jima, the Hebrew letter, is shaped like a man that's running. Gmail dalam bahasa Ibrani artinya seperti seseorang yang berlari, saudara. It is the letter is shaped in a way where a man. Thank you so much. Yes, look at that. You can just zoom into that. Zoom into one of them. Bisa yes, zoom lebih besar, yes. lebih dekat. Yeah. So Gmail, you see how the letter is shaped. Kita bisa so, melihat huruf Gmail di sana. The Hebrews say Gmail is a man that's running. Dikatakan. Di sana uh, dalam bahasa Ibrani huruf Ibrani ini seperti seseorang yang sedang berlari. Who is ready to run towards their destiny? Seseorang yang siap untuk berlari untuk mencapai destininya. This year you're going to walk into new lands and territories. Tahun ini saudara akan mulai berjalan masuk ke dalam teritori saudara dan destini saudara. This year in 5783 and 2023 you are going to walk and you're going to run. Di tahun 2023 ini saudara akan berjalan masuk dan saudara akan memasuki dan saudara akan berlari di dalamnya. Many of you felt tired. Banyak dari saudara yang jatuh dan letih, capek. Many of you felt like you were crippled, stuck in bed. Beberapa dari saudara merasakan seperti saudara uh, menjadi timpang lumpur di kasur di tempat tidur saudara. But those who wait upon the Lord, your strength will be renewed. Tapi bagi saudara yang terus menunggu Tuhan, saudara kekuatan saudara akan diperbarui oleh Tuhan. You will walk and not grow weary. Saudara akan terus berjalan dan tidak akan letih. You will run and not grow faint. Saudara tidak saudara berlari dan tidak akan jatuh tidak akan capek. Amen. Who's ready to be like the Gemel, the Gemel? Siapa yang dari saudara yang siap seperti Gmail Gmail ini saudara? Who's ready to run forward in their destiny? Siapa yang siap untuk berlari masuk ke dalam destininya? Who's ready to walk into new places and new spaces? Uh, siapa yang siap untuk masuk ke dalam tempat yang baru atau space baru saudara? Your feet are anointed. Kaki saudara itu diurapi. Wherever your feet touch, that land will become yours. Apa di mana engkau saudara menepak dan meninjak kaki saudara di daerah itu di tempat itu akan menjadi milik saudara. I am prophesying to you right now. Aku berbuat atas hidup saudara saat ini. Wherever your feet touch this year, it will become yours. Di mana tempat kaki Telapak kakimu menginjakkan kaki itu akan menjadi milik Korea, Mongolia, South Africa, Indonesia. Korea, Mongolia, Afrika, Indonesia. It will become yours. Itu akan menjadi milik saudara. 
You see, Gemel is shaped like a foot. Gemel itu saudara bisa lihat seperti ada kaki. Do you see that it's shaped like a foot? Seperti bentuk ada kaki, saudara. Which means some of you need to get new shoes. Artinya beberapa dari saudara perlu mempersiapkan sepatu yang baru. Amen. You need new shoes because you're going to new places. Saudara perlu sepatu yang baru karena saudara akan pergi ke tempat yang baru. Amen. And it's shaped like a foot because you're going to kick the devil in the face. Ada kaki di sana karena saudara akan menendang wajah dan melempar iblis keluar. Who's ready to kick the devil in the face? Haya. Siapa yang siap untuk menendang si si iblis dan me, menghajarnya, saudara? Someone say haya. Katakan haya. This year you will be like the gemel. Tahun ini saudara akan seperti gemel ini, saudara. You will only run forward in Jesus name. Saudara akan terus berlari dan maju di dalam nama Yesus. You will only walk forward in your destiny. Saudara akan terus berjara menuju destiny saudara. This is a year of dominion, direction, and resurrection. Tahun ini ada tahun dominion, tahun tuntunan, dan tahun kebangkitan. But friends, it gets better. Tapi teman-teman ini akan menjadi lebih baik lagi. Now, if you're happy to be here, I want you to praise the Lord right now. Dan saya ingin kita semua berdoa saat ini. Because I believe this year is a year of great wealth. Karena saya percaya tahun ini adalah uh, tahun uh, kekayaan besar. Hmm. Yes. We understand whenever there is shaking in the economy and the government. Kita tahu bahwa ketika terjadi satu uh, goncangan di pemerintahan dan di ekonomi. That means there is a transference of wealth. Artinya akan terjadi satu transfer kekayaan. Who's ready to receive? Siapa yang siap untuk menerimanya? Yes. You see, Gemel, the Hebrew letter, it also means camel. Uh, kata Gemel di dalam bahasa uh, huruf Ibrani ini juga mempunyai arti unta. It means unta, camel. Unta, saudara. This is a year where the camels are coming to you. Artinya di mana unta-unta akan datang menghampiri saudara. Amin. What does camels stand for? Apa arti dari kata unta ini saudara? They stand for wealth and supply. Artinya ada kekayaan dan persediaan. Provision and abundance. Penyediaan dan kelimpahan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I want to go to this verse here. And uh, thank you, Lord. Let's go over to the book of Job. Are you? We're going to go to the book of Job, verse 42, verse 12. Hallelujah. The Bible says the Lord blessed the latter part of job more than the beginning dikatakan tuhan memberkati ayub dalam hidupnya yang selanjutnya lebih daripada hidupnya yang dahulu i want you to say blessed saya ingin saudara katakan diberkati for he had 14000 sheep and 6000 camels di mana ayub ini memiliki 14000 ekor kambing domba i want you to say 6000 camels Saya ingin saudara katakan ada 6000 unta. You see I love how God works. Saya senang dengan bagaimana Tuhan bekerja saudara. Because God always takes us from glory to glory. Karena Tuhan selalu bekerja dari satu kemuliaan kepada kemuliaan yang lain. You see this is in Job chapter 42. Kita lihat di dalam ayat 42 ini. And God bless Job with 6000 camels. Tuhan memberkati Ayub dengan 6000 unta. Now let's go to the beginning, Job chapter 1 verse 3. Dan kita lihat di dalam Ayub 1 ayat 3. Shakarata taramate tasota. Job chapter 1 3. His substance was also 7000 sheep and 3000 camels. 
Katakan ia memiliki 7,000 ekor kambing domba, 3,000 ekor unta. From Job 1 to Job 42. Dari ayat 1 ke ayat 42. Job received a double. Ayub mendapatkan lipat kali ganda, dua kali lipat ganda, saudara. Here in Job 1, he had 3,000 camels. Di ayub 1, di sana dikatakan dia memiliki 3,000 ekor unta. But after all the suffering and all of the testing, tapi setelah dia melewati seluruh percobaan dan penderitaan itu, in Job 42, he had double, he had 6,000 camels. Di ayub 42, dia mengalami double, pelipat gandaan, dia menerima 6,000 unta. Who's ready to receive double for all your trouble? Siapa yang siap untuk menerima pelipat gandaan dari setiap masalah saudara? Somebody shout hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. The pain you experience is not in vain. Sakit atau penderitaan yang saudara alami itu tidak akan sia-sia, saudara. The loss and the betrayal. Setiap uh, kekur uh, kekurangan, setiap uh, pengkhianatan yang saudara terima. Nothing is a waste. Tidak ada yang sia-sia, saudara. Because God is going to bless you with double. Karena Tuhan akan memberkati saudara dua kali lipat. I want you to say the camels are coming. Saya ingin saudara katakan unta-unta saya akan datang. The camels are coming to Indonesia. Unta-unta itu datang ke Indonesia. To Kingdom Wealth Ministries to Prophet Abraham. Amen. I receive it. Masuk ke uh, pelayanan Pak Joy ke dalam Kingdom Wealth. And the Lord, says, Prophet, the Lord says, Prophet Abraham, get ready to own multiple properties. Dan Tuhan katakan bersiap-siap untuk uh, properti yang berlipat kali ganda. Amen. You will own multiple properties across Indonesia. Engkau akan memiliki banyak properti di berbagai tempat. I receive it, Lord Jesus. For this is a year and season of expansion and of wealth. Karena ini adalah Waktu dan musim ekspansi dan kekayaan. The camels are coming to you. Unta-unta akan datang kepadamu. Aku terima. Double camels are coming to you. Unta-unta pelipat ganda. Double portion itu akan datang kepada saudara. But it gets better, my friends. Tapi ada peperangan juga di sana. Yes. Because gamel comes from the root word gamol. Karena Jimel ini berasal dari kata Jimul. Jimul. Gemel. Gemul. Jimel ini berasal dari kata Jimu. And what Jimul, the root word means, it means recompense. Akar dari kata Jimu ini adalah, sorry Pastor, what? Recompense. Um, perbandingan ya? It means payback. Payback. Artinya dikem, dibayar kembali. What gemul in the Hebrew means, it means the wage or your payment. Artinya dibayar kembali untuk pembayaran saudara. Now the Bible says, if the enemy is caught, he must pay back sevenfold. Ya, kalau musuh ini mengambil atau men, ditangkap, dia harus mengembalikan tujuh kali lipat. Amin. What did the devil take from your life? Apa yang sudah dicuri uh, dari dicuri iblis dari hidup saudara? Your health, your purity, your childhood. Apakah itu kesehatan saudara, kemurnian saudara, apapun itu? Your business, your finances. Keuangan saudara, bisnis saudara. What did the devil take from your life? Apa yang sudah diambil iblis dari hidup saudara? Yeah. Get ready for gamol for payback. Bersiap-siap untuk gamol ini akan dibayarkan kembali kepada saudara. For when the enemy is caught, he must pay back sevenfold. Ya, karena ketika iblis ini ditangkap, pencuri ini ditangkap, dia harus mengembalikan kepada saudara tujuh kali lipat. Somebody shout hallelujah. Berikan hallelujah, saudara. Amin. Now, now you see. 
If you were working for a boss and your boss did not pay you for one month. Ya kalau uh, seperti ini, kalau saudara bekerja kepada bos saudara dan saudara itu tidak dibayar selama sebulan. Would you be happy about that or would you be mad? Saudara akan senang apa saudara akan marah? You would be mad. Pastinya saudara akan marah. But the boss will now have to pay you extra for keeping you angry and making you wait. Tapi bos saudara akan membayar lebih karena sudah membuat saudara uh, marah dan terus menunggu. The enemy tried to hold your blessings for many years. Musuh mencoba untuk menahan semua berkat saudara selama beberapa tahun. The enemy held back your health and your breakthrough for many years. Dan musuh um, menahan juga kesehatan saudara dan semua yang seharusnya saudara terima. But this year of 5783-2023. Tapi di tahun 583 di tahun 2023 ini. Oh. Three which means gemel and gemul. Art, uh, tiga artinya gimel atau gimul ini. God is going to release justice and recompense and payback. Tuhan akan melepaskan keadilan dan pembayaran yes. kembali kepada saudara. To Indonesia. Kepada Indonesia. To Jakarta. Pada Jakarta. To the church. Untuk gereja-gereja. To you and your life. Di dalam kepada saudara dan hidup saudara. The Lord is going to release payback, gemul. Tuhan akan melepaskan di pembayaran kembali gimul itu kepada saudara. Justice in Jesus' name. Di dalam nama Yesus. Every wrongdoing against you will be paid back in full in Jesus' name. Amin. Setiap hal-hal baik yang melawan hal-hal yang melawan saudara itu akan dibayarkan kembali di dalam nama Yesus. Wow. Now, if you receive it, I want to say Amen. Amen. Kalau saudara terima itu katakan Amin. I want you to comment right now on the YouTube, on the Zoom. I want you to comment what you're believing God to do right now. Saya ingin saudara tulis atau berkomentar di Zoom atau di YouTube apa yang saudara percaya atau untuk Tuhan lakukan di dalam hidup saudara. And in this atmosphere and in this anointing. Di dalam waktu atmosfer ini dan di dalam waktu pengurapan saat ini. I want to stretch my faith towards you. Saya ingin mengarahkan iman saya kepada saudara. I want to release the glory of God over you. Saya ingin melepaskan kemuliaan Tuhan atas hidup saudara. And come into agreement with you right now. Dan saya ingin bersepakat dengan saudara hari ini. Amin. That this is a year and season. Dan ini adalah waktu dan tahun dan musim. Of resurrection. Yaitu tahun kebangkitan. Psalm 23 direction. Tuntunan di dalam Mazmur 23. And dominion. Dan dominion penguasaan. Amin. If you receive a shot, hallelujah. hallelujah. Kalau saudara terima katakan hallelujah. For your confirmation, Lord. A shout hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Now lift up your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Angkat tangan saudara dan mulai berbahasa Tuhan sedang melepaskan kunci saat ini. Amin. I see God touching and anointing your mind right now. Saya melihat Tuhan sedang menjama pemikiran saudara saat ini dalam nama Yesus. Many of you, you've been crying out to God. I need an answer. Banyak dari saudara menangis, meminta kepada Tuhan jawaban. I need an answer, Jesus. Saya butuh jawaban ya Yesus Tuhan. Let me tell you, by the end of this year, by the end of December. Saya katakan sebelum tahun ini berakhir di bulan Desember ini. Get ready for miracle signs and wonders. Bersiap-siap untuk tanda-tanda mujizat akan terjadi di dalam hidupmu. In your family. Di dalam keluargamu. In your ministry and in your business. Di dalam pelayanan saudara, di dalam bisnis saudara. If you receive it, shout hallelujah. Kalau saudara terima, katakan hallelujah. The Lord will spread you out like the mimshak anointing. Tuhan akan meluaskan saudara seperti uh, urapan. Sorry. 
Memshak anointing. Okay, urapan yang tidak bisa ditutupi, saudara. You will be unstoppable. Engkau tidak bisa dihentikan. Even though the devil tried to stop you, you will be unstoppable. Bahkan ketika iblis ingin menghentikan saudara, tapi engkau tidak bisa dihentikan. Somebody shout hallelujah. Katakan haleluya, saudara. Now, I want you to lift up your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Dan saya ingin saudara mengangkat tangan saudara dan bermulai berbahasa roh saudara. I see Prophet Joel Abraham. The Lord says you will be like a prince. Amen. Dan, uh, engkau akan seperti seorang prince, kata Tuhan. I see you with a new turban on your head, and God is stretching out the scepter before you. Dan ada satu makota yang Tuhan berikan kepada saya dan Tuhan mengarahkannya itu kepadamu. The Lord says the rivers are going to come out. Ada satu sungai yang akan mulai keluar dari engkau. What rivers stand for is streams of income. Artinya ada satu. Saluran income yang akan datang yang masuk. In America we call it multiple streams of income. Di Amerika kami katakan itu aliran pelipat gandaan yang masuk. And God is going to release multiple rivers, multiple streams of income. Dan Tuhan akan mem- melepaskan uh, sungai multiplikasi, sungai pelipat gandaan itu kepadamu. Amen. But I saw the rivers coming out of the Middle East. Dan saya melihat itu keluar dari Timur Tengah. And the Lord says, get ready for Israel and get ready for the Middle East. Amen, 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 dan amen. bersiap-siap untuk Israel dan Timur Tengah. For there is an anointing for you to receive from that land. Ada urapan yang engkau harus siap terima dari tempat ini, Israel dan Timur Tengah. And it will rise up like rivers in Jesus' name. Dan engkau akan bangkit seperti sungai-sungai ini. So I see a new turban on your head. Saya melihat ada satu mangkota yang Tuhan berikan di atas kepalamu. According to the prophetic book of Zechariah. Seperti di dalam buku kitab Zakaria. Yes, Lord. Zechariah three five. Zakaria tiga lima. Put a clean turban on his head. The Bible says, "Put a clean turban on his head." Amen. Tarulah sorban tahir pada kepalanya. Ada satu sorban And they clothed and they clothed him. And they clothed. Dan dikenakan di atas kepalanya. While the angel stood by. Mengenakan pakai kepada sedang malaikat itu berdiri di situ. The turban stands for your authority. Serban ini berkata tentang bercara tentang otoritas. The clothes stand for your mantle. Dan pakaian ini berbicara tentang jubah, mantel. And the angel stands for the presence of God. Dan malaikat ini berbicara tentang hadirat Tuhan. It stands for the favor of the Lord. Juga berbicara tentang perkenanan atau kasih karunia Tuhan. Yeah. Is that is that your wife, Prophet Abraham? Yes. Oh, I've never seen her before. Hallelujah. The Lord says, many babies. <laughs> Multiple, <laughs> Multiple spiritual babies. Many birthings. Amen. Anak-anak rohani. Banyak anak rohani akan Tuhan berikan, percayakan kepadamu. It's time for you to birth. Ini ada waktumu untuk melahirkan. You shall birth a woman's movement. Dan juga kau akan bergerak di dalam pergerakan wanita. A movement of women in Indonesia. Pergerakan wanita di Indonesia. Amin. And you shall birth a prayer movement like Maldonado. Oh my God. Dan kau akan melahirkan pergerakan doa seperti Maldonado. For I see a prophetic Crusade anointing on you, woman of God. Dan saya juga melihat ada KKR profetik atasmu, uh, Ibu Kristin. Like stadiums, like Catherine Coleman. Stadion seperti Catherine Coleman. Over your life in Jesus' name. Atas hidupmu di dalam nama Yesus. So I believe that there is a crusade anointing upon your wife. What is her name? 
Kristin. Ibu Kristin. Jadi saya percaya ada pengurapan KKR atas Ibu Kristin. There is a crusade stadium anointing. So I believe God is in Kristen. Believe for a stadium next year. Jadi saya melihat Tuhan percayakan juga seperti ada satu KKR, ada stadium KKR yang akan dikerjakan. Where, 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 your, your, where your husband moves in, in the prophetic and in wealth. Hmm, ketika Pak Jo nanti ber, bergerak di dalam profetik dan uh, tentang kekayaan. And of course in miracles. Dan juga akan menyebabkan terjadinya mujizat. But you move in powerful preaching and deliverance. Dan juga engkau akan bergerak, Ibu Kristen, di dalam pelepasan. In Jesus' name. Wow. Di dalam nama Yesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. Katakan hallelujah. Give it anointing. Glory be to God. Shalabatata. Yes. For the Lord says, I will take you global, Prophet Abraham. Dan saya akan membawamu lebih uh, global, secara global. Even from this day on, you shall experience the Mimshak anointing all across. Mulai dari saat, mulai dari saat ini, kau akan mulai masuk ke dalam pengurapan pintu yang tidak bisa ditutup ini di dalam hidupmu. In Jesus' name. I receive. Dalam nama Yesus. Get ready to travel more, says God. Bersiap-siaplah untuk hal ini, dah. Get your passport ready. Visas will be your portion. It will be so easy for you. Amin. Amen. Bersiapkan paspor, visa, dan semuanya ini akan menjadi hal yang mudah bagimu. Yes. If you receive that, say I receive it. I receive it. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, Prophet Abraham and Kristen. I can't wait to see you again soon. I want to pray for a few people here. Is that okay? Yes. Thank you. Dr. Thank you so much, Dr. Ben Lim. God bless you. Shalom. Nice to meet you, Kristen. So you can lead by Holy Spirit if you want. Amen. There's this one lady here. I kept seeing her. Uh, what is her name? Ari, Arian? This lady here. Yeah. What is her name? Which one, Pastor? The one here. Uh, I spotted it. Can you mention the name? There are many raised hands there. Ariel? Ariani. Eh, bisa, huh? bisa buka. Ya? Ariel atau, atau Ariani, Pak Joel? I, I spotlighted her right now. Where? Oh, yeah, Ariani. Ariani, K&W. Ariani. Yeah, yeah lift up your hands, Ariani. <laughs> The glory of God is all over you. He's rushing, he's rushing over you like ecstasy. Tuhan sedang melepaskan semua bebanmu dan Tuhan melepaskannya atas hidupmu. Get ready for dreams and visions. Bersiap-siap untuk mimpi dan penglihatan. Get ready for visions like the bride and the bridegroom. Bersiap-siap se seperti para pengantin. There's great favor. There's great favor on you and in your family business. Ada ada favor yang besar di dalam hidupmu dan di dalam keluargamu. God is going to do something very special for you this year. Tuhan akan melakukan sesuatu yang spesial bagimu di tahun ini. I even see where like the last two years there were some difficult things. Saya juga melihat di dua tahun yang lalu saudara mengalami beberapa hal yang sulit. Family members passing. Anggota keluarga yang berantakan. Family members passing. Yeah. Oh, ara, yeah. maaf. Anggota keluarga yang ter, uh, yeah. tercerai atau hilang. Different friends betraying you. Dan beberapa teman yang mengkhian, mengkhianati saudara. And God says I'm healing your heart. Dan Tuhan katakan aku memulihkan hatimu. And as you forgive. Dan di saat engkau mau mengampuni. You shall rise up like the eagle's wings. <laughs> For there is a new song coming out of you. Dan akan keluar lagu yang baru dari engkau. A new song will rise up out of you. 
keluar lagu yang baru dari engkau. And I see you on television. Dan saya melihat di TV. I see you on news channels. Saya melihat engkau ada di saluran yang baru. With passion and with health. Dengan satu passion dan satu uh, kesehatan. And God will show you to the world. Dan Tuhan akan menunjukkanmu kepada dunia. The year of great increase for you. Dan tahun ini akan menjadi tahun yang meningkat bagimu. Of great payback in Jesus name. Ya, pembayaran yang kembali yang besar tahun ini. He will deal with your enemies. Dia ya Tuhan akan menyikokan musuh-musuhmu. All you have to do is pray for them and bless them. Dan kau terus doakan mereka dan berkati mereka. In Jesus name. Amin. Dalam nama Yesus. Terima. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Tuhan berkati. Does that make sense, Ariani? Apa yang dikatakan? Uh, betul, Bu. Bu Ariani. Uh, you're muted right now. You're muted right now. Can you unmute? Bisa unmute tak, Bu? Yeah, these past two years, I, uh, my relatives, my my big sisters, my elder sisters is passing uh, away, and uh, these two years I have very hard problem with my my husband, and uh, I have difficulty in in ministry because they thought that they say that uh, uh, my uh, Uh, speaking tongue is 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 not uh, give uh, like no peace. I'm they uh, they thought that I'm pray in in um, what do you call that is uh, is like evil way yeah. is, is something like that. Yeah, yeah. All this makes sense. <laughs> well, God bless you. I mean, shalom, shalom. You. Let's give it up. everybody give it up for the Lord. God bless you. Shalom. Ya berikan kemuliaan bagi Tuhan saudara. I, I want to pray for a few more people. Hallelujah. But if I if I pray for you, I, I want to see your video. Okay, I want to see your face. That's that's mm -hmm. how I like to do it. Yes. Whenever I do zooms, I like to see people's faces. Yes. Saya akan berdoa bagi beberapa orang lagi dan ketika saya menyebutkan nama saudara, saya ingin saudara membuka video saudara supaya saya bisa melihat wajah saudara. So continue to pull on the Holy Ghost. Ya, teruslah di dalam. There was a couple Kudus. somewhere. There was a couple I saw earlier. Mm -hmm. I wonder where they saya went. Melihat, hmm, saya sebelumnya tadi saya melihat ada satu pasangan. Tidak tahu di mana. There was a married couple I saw somewhere. Ya, ada satu pasangan yang sudah menikah. Shabaratye raladus ketara brata zora brata ta. Orang Indon sangat kacak. Sangat. Oh, the 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 karas. Oh, this this person here. Who's this? Orang apa? This couple here. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. Pamela. <laughs> What is their names? Pamela Justin. Anmit. Hi. How you doing? Apa kabarnya? Baik. Baik. Are, are you married, Kawin? Sudah menikah? Uh, belum. Belum, belum. Kawin uh, not yet. Not yet, huh? Yet, okay. But, huh? Oh, good. Well, lift up your hands. Angkat tangannya. <laughs> There's such a sweet presence about you. Ada satu, um, sesuatu yang harum tentang kalian. And I see the tears of joy coming down your face. And for the woman here, Pamela, I, I just see the Lord saying that he's going to bless your family. Your heart has been heavy for your father. Engkau sangat punya satu beban yang berat untuk papamu. You have been concerned for your family. Dan engkau punya satu uh, perhatian untuk keluargamu. But God is going to lift the heaviness. Dan Tuhan akan mengangkat semua beban berat itu. The Bible says, cast your cares on me. 
Tuhan, uh, firman Tuhan berkata, taruhlah semua segala beban beratmu di hadapanku. And in this season, I see there's like you need an answer. You, you need clarity from God. Dan saya melihat engkau membutuhkan satu jawaban, satu kejelasan yang dari Tuhan. I see you praying in the middle of the night. You're crying out to God. God, help me. I need an answer. Dan saya melihat engkau menangis di malam hari saat engkau berdoa dan meminta jawaban yang dari Tuhan. In fact, I believe there's been a dream that's been re uh, repeated in your life. Dan saya percaya ada mimpi yang datang kepadamu yang terus berulang di dalam mimpimu. There's a dream that keeps happening. If that's correct, nod your head. Betul enggak, Bu Pamela, ada mimpi yang selalu terjadi yang datang di dalam, di dalam mimpimu. But you see, God is going to give you the answer. Tapi Tuhan akan memberikan jawaban kepadamu. God is going to give you the peace. Dan Tuhan akan memberikan damai kepadamu. And the Lord is going to give your family what he desires. Dan Tuhan akan memberikan kepada keluargamu apa yang diinginkan oleh. And even now I see an angel behind you. Dan saat ini juga saya melihat ada malaikat di belakangmu. This is an angel of peace. Itu adalah malaikat damai. God says, Gideon, you are a man of valor. Gideon, engkau adalah seorang yang pernah gagal sebelumnya. And after Gideon destroyed his father's altar. Dan ketika Gideon menghancurkan mesbah dari uh, bapaknya, orang tuanya. The Bible says the angel of peace came. Dan firman Tuhan berkata, malaikat Tuhan datang. The angel of peace is coming to you and your father. Dan malaikat damai ini juga akan datang kepadamu dan kepada bapakmu. In Jesus' name. Di dalam nama Yesus. And Justin, I see a spirit of a warrior on the inside of you. Dan Justin, saya melihat ada satu roh warrior, seorang prajurit di dalam engkau. There's times you felt angry, but you controlled yourself. Terkadang engkau marah, tapi engkau bisa mengendalikan dirimu. I see you with passion, and there's times you are angry that something is not happening. Dan saya melihat satu ada satu passion di dalam tekan dan engkau ketika ada sesuatu yang kau harapkan itu tidak terjadi. Kau seperti but, the, but the Lord is teaching you to die to yourself. Tapi Tuhan ajarkan kepadamu untuk bisa mengendalikan dirimu. Because the money, the riches, the house, the blessings they will come in God's time. Karena seperti uang, kekayaan, rumah itu akan datang dalam waktunya Tuhan. Amin. He says Luke chapter 15. Di dalam Lukas 15. Which is the story of the prodigal son. Di, di situ ada cerita seorang anak. The, the prodigal came to the father and said, give me my inheritance. Di ada seorang anak yang datang kepada, meminta kepada warisan kepada bapaknya, kepada ayahnya. And eventually the son returned back to the father. Dan akhirnya anak ini kembali kepada Bapaknya. I hear the Lord saying, I'm going to restore you and your father. Saya mendengar Tuhan akan memulihkan hubunganmu dengan uh, papamu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I release a father's blessing over you both. Saya melepaskan urapan Bapa kepada kalian berdua. For the Lord will use you greatly as an example in your marriage. Supaya Tuhan memakai kalian berdua sebagai teladan, sebagai contoh di dalam uh, pernikahan saudara. In Jesus name. Di dalam nama Yesus. And I also heard for you so uh, heard for you Justin. You may be in a soul season. Mungkin engkau juga ada di waktu yang sulit saat ini Justin. Where David had to be humble before Saul. Ketika Daud harus merendahkan dirinya di hadapan Saul. Where the leader was kind of against him, but still David was humble. Ketika pemimpinnya mau menghadapi dia, menyerang dia, tapi si Daud ini tetap rendah hati. The Lord says, if you continue to be humble, then he will raise you up before Saul. 
Tuhan katakan kalau engkau mau tetap rendah hati seperti Daud, Tuhan akan um, meninggi, meninggikan engkau. Haleluya. Haleluya. I bless you both in Jesus name. Aku memberkati kalian berdua di dalam nama Yesus. Haleluya. Do you receive it? Terima itu. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Makes sense. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Wow. Sangat comel. God bless you guys. Get married. God bless you. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I see many beautiful people here today. Many couples also. Very beautiful. This man here, Christian. Okay. Christian yeah. Lift up your hands, Christian. Yeah, praise God. I, I see God opening a door for you. Many doors have been shut in your life. Banyak pintu yang tertutup. Di dalam hidupmu. And I see you asking God, why is this happening? Dan saya melihat engkau bertanya kepada Tuhan, kenapa hal ini terjadi? You're asking God, God, I know you gave me this idea. You you told me, but why is it not happening? Engkau berkata kepada Tuhan, Tuhan, engkau yang memberikan ide ini kepada aku. Engkau yang memberitahukan ide, kepada, ide ini kepada aku. Kenapa hal ini tidak terjadi? But God says, don't give up. Tapi Tuhan katakan jangan menyerah. Don't stop knocking. Jangan berhenti. Don't stop asking. Jangan berhenti untuk meminta. Because the door will be opened. Karena pintu itu akan terbuka. And God wants to give you faith. Dan Tuhan akan memberikan kepadamu iman. He wants you to believe for bigger. Tuhan ingin kau percaya untuk sesuatu yang lebih besar lagi. He wants you to believe for more. Tuhan ingin kau percaya untuk sesuatu yang lebih lagi. You may be in a season where like Joseph was overseeing Potiphar's house. Engkau mungkin ada di dalam waktu seperti Yusuf ada di dalam rumahnya Potiphar. But soon as you're being faithful, you will be promoted into the palace. Tapi selama engkau setia, Tuhan akan memindahkan engkau masuk ke dalam istana. I see the hand of God raising you up. Saya melihat tangan Tuhan mengangkat engkau. For this is not by strength nor by power, but by my spirit, says God. Bukan dengan kuasa, gagah perkasa, tapi oleh karena rohku, kata Tuhan. And in this season, God is going to shut the mouths of your critics. Dan Tuhan akan menutup mulut para pengkritik terhadapmu. I see where you have had pressure from your family. Um, pardon? You had pressure pardon? from your family. Okay. Dan kau memiliki ada banyak tekanan dari pihak keluarga. You feel like there is pressure from your friends. Seperti kau merasakan juga banyak tekanan dari teman-teman. God says do not compare. Dan Tuhan katakan, jangan bandingkan. Do not look to the left or the right, but keep looking forward. Jangan melihat ke kanan dan ke kiri, tapi lihatlah ke depan teruslah maju. So God is anointing you with strength. Jesus. Jadi Tuhan mengurapi engkau dengan kekuatan. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Firman Tuhan berkata, sukacita dari Tuhan adalah kekuatanku. Every area of discouragement where it did not happen the way you think. Setiap area di dalam hidupmu yang engkau pikirkan yang hal-hal itu yang belum terjadi. God is giving you joy and hope. Tuhan akan memberikan sukacita dan pengharapan kepadamu. One of your ideas can become a multi-million dollar idea. Salah satu ide mutu mungkin akan menjadi ide uh, milioner. So I bless you with the oil of gladness. 
Jadi saya memberkati engkau dengan urapan minyak kebesaran. In Jesus name. Di dalam nama Yesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord says the gift of leadership is over your life. Juga ada pem- karunia kepemimpinan ada di dalam hidupmu. But he's working on your heart. Tapi Tuhan sedang bekerja di dalam berurusan dengan hatimu. And he's teaching you and showing you many things. Dan Tuhan sedang mengajari engkau dan menunjukkan banyak hal kepadamu. Do not rush the process. Jangan terburu-buru dengan semua proses yang ada. For his hand is upon you. Karena tangan Tuhan ada padamu. In Jesus name. Dalam nama Yesus. Amen. God bless you. Does that make sense, Christian? Amazing. Pak Christian, apakah uh, betul yang dikatakan tadi? Bisa unmute? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, Prophet Ben Benlip is very true. And yeah, that's true. That's what I felt. Amen. The yeah. door is going to open for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. Shalom. Thank you, Lord. Shata raba karaba tara sotara. Raba seka raba setara brata. Thank you, Lord. Shara brata tara. Is anybody not from Indonesia? Not Indonesia. Many, actually. Indonesia Who? Timur ada? Malaysia. Ada yang dari Indonesia Timur? Yang bukan dari Indonesia. Thank you, Lord. Uh, sorry, Pastor. From uh, North Indonesia or not from North? Not from Indonesia. Uh, outside of Indonesia. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Da, uh, bukan dari Indonesia. Ada? <laughs> so maybe from Malaysia, Singapore. Malaysia. There's Singapore, Malaysia. Who was the lady talking earlier, Prophet Joel? Was that Ian? Tadi ada yang ada yang ngomong enggak? Tadi cuma saya yang bicara atau ada yang The lady yang talking enggak? about the airplane and stuff and before I came. Oh ya, yeah. Ayin. Ayin is the Oh, that's you, Ayin. Ayin. Glory Ayin. be to God. Ayin, I want to pray for you, Ayin. <laughs> and then after that, I want to pray for some healing because I feel the healing anointing come right now. Praise God. Amen. So, uh, yeah, Ayin, lift up your hands. The camels are coming to you. Amen. Multiple, multiple locations, multiple offices. Amen. And this year, God's going to give you the desire of your heart this year. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. He's going to open up some major doors. I see banks opening up for you. Vaults opening up for you, but he's going to give you the desire of your heart this year. And mm-hmm. I see you bringing honor to your family. You are going to carry a generational wealth for your family. Amen. God says you are the leader of your family. You are the mm-hmm. spiritual leader of your family. Amen. Orabashatarabrata. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah, I just believe this year is going to be a big year for you, Ian. Amen. Amen. And he's Amen. going to give you Psalm 37, 14, the desires of your heart this year. This year. Amen. Amen. And it's going to shock you because you're already Amen. blessed. God has blessed Amen. you in many ways already. But this Amen. is going to shock you. It's going to surprise you. Amen. It's like it's like the story of Hannah. Hannah could not have a son. Mm. She, even though she received double portion, Hannah could not receive a son. <laughs> and the priest Eli came and said, you will receive a son. Mm. And next time this year, she had a son. <laughs> so get ready for the blessing of Hannah. Get ready for God to open up your womb and open you up. Or he's going to release 
the blessing Amen. and the Amen. desire of your heart in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. This year, Amen. this year. Amen. I receive it. Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Oh. Thank you, Pastor. Shalom. If, if you need a miracle on your body, I want, you, I want you to lift up your hand. Wherever you are. Dimanapun saudara berada. God, I release the healing anointing. Amen. Tuhan, aku lepaskan urapan kesembuhan. Eyes be opened. Mata yang terbuka. Ears be opened. Telinga terbuka. Touch their bodies, Lord, from the top of the head to the soles of their feet. Jama tubuh setiap mereka dari ujung kepala sampai ujung kaki. I command healing virtue to come upon your children. Aku perintahkan kesembuhan atas hidupmu, atas keluargamu dan anak-anakmu. Right now. Sekarang juga. Every spirit of infirmity. Setiap roh kelemahan tubuh. Every spirit of disease and death. Setiap roh sakit penyakit dan kematian. I bind it right now. Aku ikat mereka sekarang. Every generational curse. Setiap kutuk keturunan. I break it right now. Aku hancurkan sekarang. On this broadcast. Melalui broadcast ini. Release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Aku lepaskan api Roh Kudus. Ruska tarabrata. Ruska tarabrata. Touch their minds and their bodies right here, right now, Jesus. Jamal tubuh mereka, hidup mereka saat ini juga di dalam nama Yesus. I release the fire of God. Aku lepaskan api dari Tuhan. I release angels right now. Shoo. Aku lepaskan malaikat Tuhan sekarang. In Jesus mighty name. Di dalam nama Yesus. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Saya ingin saudara mulai berbahasa roh saat ini. Jesus. Shalala bos karabrata. Come on, pray out loud in the spirit. Rata bos shatara. Berbahasa roh yang kuat saudara. Shatara bos shatara bos. Jesus. Jesus. Touch your children, Lord. Touch Tuhan, jama anak-anakmu, Tuhan. Jama anak-anakmu, ya Tuhan. He is healing people in their mouth and their teeth. Tuhan akan menyembuhkan di dalam mulut dan di gigi, saudara. There are lumps and tumors being dissolved. Dan uh, benjolan dan tumor itu juga Tuhan akan lenyapkan. God is opening ears right now. Tuhan sedang membuka gendang telinga. Sekarang. Heaviness of breathing on your chest is being healed. Dan saat ada satu hambatan atau tekanan di dalam paru-parumu itu juga akan diangkat oleh Tuhan. Cancer is being destroyed. Kanker dihancurkan. Insomnia is destroyed. Insomnia dihancurkan. Some of you feel like you're going crazy in your mind. Berapa pada soal rasanya? Rasanya mau gila di pikiranmu. Itu That juga demon is leaving your life. Dan yang mencoba menekan di dalam hidupmu. In Jesus' name. Dihancurkan dalam nama Yesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Now I want you to move your body around. Check your body right now. Saya ingin saudara mulai mengecek atau menggerakkan tubuh saudara. Coba dicek. Check your body around. Hallelujah. Coba dicek bagi, bagian yang sakit mulai gerak-gerakkan. Coba apa yang dirasakan. Glory be, glory be to God. Segala kemuliaan bagi Tuhan. Now I, I want you as you're moving, as you're checking, if something is different with your body. Mm -hmm. Saya ingin ketika saudara menggerakkan atau mengecek tubuh saudara kalau ada sesuatu yang berbeda. Saudara I want you to comment in the chat group. Saya ingin saudara berkomentar, komen di dalam chat. What did God heal you of? Bagaimana Tuhan sudah menyembuhkan engkau? Apa yang sudah Tuhan sembuhkan? Comment in the chat group. Saudara bisa komen di uh, kolom komentar. We want you to testify. Saya ingin saudara bersaksi. Glory be to God. 
If you feel Hindi different in your body, wave both of your hands. Kalau saudara merasakan ada sesuatu yang berbeda dalam tubuh saudara, merasa satu pelegaan, saudara boleh melambaikan tangan saudara. The healing anointing is here. Urapan kesembuhan ada di sini, saudara. The power of God is here. Kuasa Tuhan ada di tempat ini. Praise God, thank you, Jesus. Is anybody testifying yet, Prophet Joel? Yes. Apakah ada yang bersaksi? Kalau ada yang langsung disebutkan, udah dicek ya. Tim bisa ngecek di live chat juga ya. Jadi teman-teman bisa bersaksi dengan singkat pada jelas ya pada malam ini. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. The Lord is moving. Receive the power of God. Kemuliaan Tuhan sedang bergerak. Terima kuasa Tuhan. Oh, shakarabata. Please comment in the chat group if something is different. Kalau saudara merasakan sesuatu yang berbeda, saudara sudah disembuhkan, saudara ingin bersaksi, saudara bisa berkomentar di live chat ini. Uh, Thank you. Sakit pinggang saya hilang sudah dari dua minggu lalu nih. Yosep Adrian sama Kristin Ayin. Bisa sakit di mana Pak? Yosep Adrian sama Kristin. Sakit pinggang hilang dari dua minggu lalu. Sekarang hilang. Oke. Okay. There is a couple. They uh, there is a couple. They have um, waist pain two weeks ago, but now they already healed. Amen. Waist pain. And there is a lamb in. Aduh, sebelumnya mana yang chatnya? Sorry. Wait. There is a lamb in the right neck. Become smaller oh, oh. right now. Amen. Because what? Well, praise God. Yes. My back muscle that has been heavy before now has gone. Michelle. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pain in my fingers is also reducing now. Amen. Come on. Ada di YouTube. Um, Yang ada di YouTube juga bisa komentar juga ya. And also, and also I also feel itching in my throat, and also my body feel hot when uh, you pray. Pastor. Hallelujah! That's the fire of God. Mm, yes, fire of God. Itu api Tuhan, and then hilangnya ribuan satu bulan ini. Jangan kanan sakit. My right, my right arms uh, for one month been pain, feel pain, but now it's already not pain anymore, Pastor. Amen. From oh, the yeah. Dela. Then... Uh, di YouTube ada ayat nyeri lambung dan benjolan di payudara kiri saya hilang dari Maria. Also there is, okay there is a lump on my breast is also is gone now. Sama apa tadi pak? Maria, Come on. Maria Christiani di YouTube. Oh, it is from YouTube. Live chat from YouTube. Yeah, apa can you repeat? Tadi? That? Yeah, that's awesome. Can you repeat that again? Apa tadi pak barusan? Oh, saya lupa. Nyeri lambung dan oh sorry there is a, um there is also pain in the stomach is also gone and there is a lump on the breast right breast is also gone right now that's from a wow. live chat in YouTube. YouTube Hallelujah praise the Lord for that come on um since since morning I feel pain I cannot uh, move my neck. Now I can move it now. It's here. It's been here now. Amen. From Hallelujah. Sorry. Hallelujah. The Lord is moving. Receive it, people of God. Receive it right now. Terima, saudara. Terima. Tuhan sedang bergerak saat ini. Terima kasih. Terima. And also terima there is... Please. With, um, receive it by faith. Terima. Terima dengan iman, saudara. Terima dengan iman. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. I see a vision right now. Saya, saya melihat ada satu penglihatan sekarang. 
There's a woman you've been in bed. Engkau ada di di tempat tidur. You've been stuck in bed for a week. Engkau sudah dari tempat tidur selama satu minggu. There's a sickness on your body. Ada satu sakit di tubuhmu. God is going to heal you right now. Tuhan ingin menyembuhkan engkau saat ini. Come out from the bed in Jesus' name. Keluar dari tempat tidurmu saat ini juga dalam nama Yesus. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Jadi langkau sembuh dalam nama Yesus. Amen. Amen. And also there is person uh, get healed from prostate. Hallelujah. There's there's a right ear opening up, right ear. Juga ada telinga yang terbuka juga saat ini. Jesus. Anybody else? Come on, keep testifying. Ada lagi? Lord is moving. Yes. Um, before my fingers uh, cannot move, cannot move, and I feel pain Can I, when I touch something, but now getting better, but but now it's um wait, sorry, terima kasih. But now I I receive total healing right now. Wow. Hallelujah. Yeah, I, Come on. I just receive, yes, the healing. Wow. No Amen. more pain. Thank God. And then, Thank you, Lord. And also, and also my left ear. Since uh, since my young age, I cannot heal properly. But now, that's, uh, I feel the change. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory mm -hmm. to God. The fire of God is here, people. Receive the healing. Jesus, Jesus. Pain on my shoulder and my fingers for two months already. Now I can move it without the pain. Praise God. Come on. Yes. There is a prayer request, Pastor. If you can pray for her granddaughter, Vanessa, six years old. From sclerosis. Scoliosis, Lord. Yes, we scoliosis, yes. The spirit. Be healed now. Jadi langkau sembuh sekarang. Untuk Vanessa yang berumur 6 tahun. 6 tahun disembuhkan Every sekarang. Every part of your body right now. Sebagian semua. Disembuhkan semua bagian tubuhmu. Dalam nama Yesus. Terima api roh kudus. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Anybody else? I feel the power of God so strong right now. Jesus. Please pray for my kidney, please. Your kidney? No, no, it's not a kidney. I just read from the chat, Pastor. Fire of he God. Asked, he asked for many times. Kidney be healed right Ibu now. Maria, berdoa untuk ginjalmu. Disembuhkan oh, sekarang. It's perceived, people of God. Terima, terima, umat Tuhan. Listen, I sense right now many of your children. Dan juga merasakan ada yang ingin punya anak. Yang mau didoakan. God's going to release strength and health to your children. Oh, yang sakit, Tuhan akan memberikan uh, kesembuhan untuk anakmu. Maaf, untuk anak yang sakit, Tuhan akan memberikan kesembuhan pada anakmu. Amen. Jesus. And any any more, Ian? Yes. Any more what, Pastor? Testif. Yes, testimony. Um, testimony, Dorisa. Okay, before I feel pain on my left breast. Now I don't feel it anymore. God already healed me. Okay, Hallelujah. That's from Fanny. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now I want everybody to lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Sekarang saya ingin saudara semuanya angkat tangan. This year, 2023. Tahun 2023. It is a year of dominion. Adalah tahun dominion, tahun penguasaan. Resurrection. Ada ada tahun tahun kebangkitan. And direction. Dan tuntunan. In Jesus' name. Dalam nama Yesus. 
If you receive it, say hallelujah. Kalau saudara terima, katakan haleluya. I want everyone to clap your hands. Thank you so much, Prophet Abraham Joel, for having me. Love you, my friend. Thank talk you. to me. Talk to me. What What do you think? What are your thoughts? Talk to me. Yeah, I feel like when you when you uh, share about uh, the word of God, when you share about uh, the God's message, it's confirmation. And I feel like uh, tonight. It's the unusual anointing. I know why the Lord uh, still uh, want me uh, in, in island of Bali now. Now is day of 11. But tonight, uh, last uh, tomorrow is day 12. And on day 12, God want me to return back to Jakarta on 22 November. 22. And the Lord says, just when you Speak to me, pray for me. The Lord, for me, personal, I'm very uh, thanks for your confirmation. And 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 I feel like the unusual anointing, like the uh, many keys, unusual keys in every model released in Indonesia. This I feel. Um, maybe uh, Ayin can translate, yeah, for simple things, saja. Yeah. No, I, I understand, though, yeah, but go ahead. <laughs> no, for people. So, uh, oh, yeah. if you have still have time, because I have a uh, few leaders and close friends, can you pray for them? Yeah, I, I have a little bit more time left. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's pray. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So you still have time, eh? Yeah, I have like 15 minutes here. 15 minutes, okay. So uh, can you pray for uh, my... Um... Bring them up. Can you yeah. bring them up? Bring them up all? Langsung dimunculkan satu, Pak, yang mau didoakan langsung disebutnya, Pak. Okay. Uh, Juan Caroline. Maryam Chandra. Mama, 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 the mother, my wife, actually our team too. So, uh, close friend, we have the close friend is, uh, yeah, maybe you can pray for them first, then after that, pray for just two or three people again. John sama Caroline dulu aja yang siap ya. Yeah, what are their names here? Johan and Caroline. Langsung Johan di... and Caroline. Yeah. Hi, God bless Johan and Caroline. Praise God. Well, let's... Pastor, God bless you. Thank you. Lift up your hands, Johan and Caroline. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, Lord, I thank you for the generational blessing of wealth. And I see generational blessings coming down. Generational blessings. And the Lord says you will be kingdom givers. You will be kingdom financers. Um, but I see spirit of wisdom over you, Johan. I see spirit of wisdom. There's accounting. There's, there's witty ideas, inventions. Um, yeah, you are a man of faith. You're smart, but you're a man of faith. And you get things done. CEO, executive anointing, startup companies, angel funds, VCs, venture capitalists. So there's going to be like a technology business you're going to start and be a part of as well. But um, I see multiple businesses, family businesses, and uh, Shaka. And I just sense he's growing you in wisdom to be wise like Solomon to be wise, legally, financially. Hallelujah. But I see the both of you being kingdom givers, kingdom financers. You're going to fund the kingdom. You're going to fund crusades and missions and souls, building projects. I see apartments, like high rises going up. Okay, I don't know if you're in real estate, but I see apartments going up, high rises going up. 
I even see shopping malls, shopping malls being built. And the Lord says, you will have your own hotel resort. And uh, yeah, I see over you, wh what's the woman's name? Sorry. Caroline. Caroline. I see over you, Caroline. I see where God is expanding your heart to trust because you love people. You're very loyal. But some people have hurt you. So it's been hard for you to open up and to trust again. But I see God opening your heart and saying, I'm going to open you up to trust again, to believe again. I see many kids, I see orphanages. I see you helping out orphans, helping out children. How about your heart breaks? And there's times you feel like you don't know what to do. Oh, if I do it for one, I have to do it for everybody. But God says, Heidi Baker, do it for the one. Do it for the one. Yeah. Just the one is all that matters. The one. And he says, Caroline, your prayers are powerful. Stop saying, my, God doesn't hear me. You pray, I don't need to pray. No, your prayers are powerful. Do not doubt yourself anymore. I rip off the spirit of doubt. Man. I rip off the spirit of inferiority where you feel like you are less. You are less powerful. No, you are powerful. You are powerful. And even now there's healing coming to you. Healing coming to you. Roska tarabra. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It shall not prosper. So, Lord, I thank you for the generational blessing, for the family inheritance upon them, Lord. Sweet aroma. I see a fragrance coming out. It's going to smell like honey, like roses of Sharon. Oh, Rabasatanablota. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And and Caroline, do you have like pain in your stomach or something? No, no. Is there something going on there? Dulu, dulu ada, tapi sekarang udah enggak. From long time. Uh, yes, but now no. Okay, because I see the Lord just opening it up right now. You see, sometimes stress will keep us like this, and He's just opening it up and releasing healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And God Thank bless you, you Pastor. Bless you, Pastor. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. God bless you. All right, who, who next, Prophet Joel? Uh, another one, <laughs> one of my close friend, uh, Mary Liana. Can you show up? Yeah, my, my friend. Hi. Hi, Pastor. Hi, Pastor Ben. Hi, Pastor Hi. Joel. Hi, Mary. Oh, bless you. Well, lift up your hands. Thank you. I see an angel behind you. This is an angel of media. An angel of media. And God says, get ready for media. Get ready for Hollywood. Get ready for, for Bollywood. Get ready for media and TV and radio and podcast. Blogging, vlogging, social media. For you are called to be a voice. You will be a voice of truth, a voice of Thank justice, you. where many have fake news and many are afraid. You will be somebody who releases truth and courage. And they will look at you and say, this chili potty, this young lady who's so small, but is so powerful. Wow. It's because you are bold and you are courageous. And God says, Joshua, you will move in the spirit of Joshua. 
You will move in the anointing of Joshua, where Joshua, be strong and courageous, for as I was with Moses, I'm with you. And he's saying, go forward, take the land, go forward. You will be a Joshua and Caleb generation. The Bible says that Joshua had a different spirit. He was different. You have a different spirit. The favor of God is on you. I see your mother in the spirit. Your mother's been praying for you a lot. She is your prayer, your prayer warrior. And I see the prayers of your mother over your life. It's like a covering over your life. It's protected you and it's blessed you. But God says in this season, I'm going to take you to the top of the tower. I'm going to take you to the top. I'm going to bring you all the way up, says God. In this season, I'm going to raise you and promote you. And you will be seen all across Indonesia. So, Lord, I thank you for Sister Mary. Thank you. Shatarabata. Your name, your last name is Rihanna. God says, like Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna, she is a famous singer in America. God, <laughs> you will be like the Rihanna in America, in <laughs> Indonesia. You will be like the Rihanna. And you know, Rihanna is actually a billionaire now. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You will be like Rihanna in music, in media, in fashion. And with wealth in Jesus' wow. name. I just saw an elephant. I saw an elephant. And an elephant stands for wealth. So get ready to ride on top of the elephant. Wow. God bless wow. you. I mean, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Ben. Are you in media? Yeah, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm blessed with um like millions of followers and like my own TV shows and like the platform. And I've been, you know, like doing my best to use my platform to give the message, you know, the message of hope, a message of faith, a message of love. So thank you for the affirmation. That's yeah. awesome. God bless you. It's a media anointing like Amy Simple McPherson. Amy Simple McPherson was one of the greatest gospel preachers, but she had a very strong media anointing from Los Angeles, Hollywood. You need to study her, okay? All right. I will. God bless. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor Joel. Thank you, Pastor Bentley. Thank you. God bless you. Hello. Thank you. So another last one. It's okay? Yes. yes. Uh, Nobu, Fabrian. Jesus. Hello there, Mr. Nobu. Hello, Prophet Ben Lim. There is a Japanese restaurant called Nobu. Yeah, it's like <laughs> my name. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Well, lift up your hands, Nobu. God says you are very noble. To be noble means to be honest and righteous. Mm -hmm. To be noble, it means to be a man of character and integrity. And I hear God saying, you are a man of solutions. You solve many problems. You get answers quickly like that. I see a Thomas Jefferson anointing over you. Thomas Jefferson was the one who created the light bulb. I see a Tesla anointing over you. Oh my God. Elon Musk, Tesla. And I see you driving a Tesla. And God says you're gonna you're gonna accelerate at the speed of light. Electricity. You're going to zoom fast. You're going to go fast. So I see the Tesla anointing. God says that you are going to do many things even for like the secret service for secret parts of the government. You're going to do many things. In this season, God says, I will anoint you, even in cryptocurrency. I will anoint you in digital currency, says God. This is a season for your life, for you to create. I see you creating, creating, creating. 
because you are a man of solution. You're a man of vision. And I see you eating your own metaverse. And God says, there is coming a time where you will be like Moses in the metaverse. You'll be like Moses in technology, in the digital realm, in the VR and the AI space. You'll be like Moses leading many people. Some of your ideas and technology will end hunger. It will end starvation. I see you collecting data, collecting information. And as you're collecting data information, analytics, it's going to release solutions and ideas to end hunger and to end different issues of poverty in Indonesia and Jakarta. In fact, I believe, Mr. Nobu, you will have a city named after you. You will have your own city in Indonesia. I remember like Bekasi, Jakarta. I went to Bekasi one time. And Bekasi was is all Christian people pretty much. A lot of wealth, a lot of money. You will have your own city one day like Bekasi. So Lord, bless your son from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Israeli technology. You will be connected with agriculture, military, and technology from Israel. God bless you. Wow. Well, thank you, Prophet Ben Lim. It's, it's all correct. Amen. I mean, do you drive a Tesla? Uh, not, not yet. Not yet. I hate Tesla. <laughs> okay. But I love Elon Musk. <laughs> We must pray for Elon Musk. Oh, of course, yes. A few, uh, a few months ago, I got a dream, actually. And I saw that he will be as one of God choose for, yes. for America, USA. And suddenly we have Peter take over. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And, and Trump just came back on Twitter yesterday. And this man actually doing about the cryptocurrency. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. yeah. We, we are also starting our own cryptocurrency as well. So eventually we'll talk. Yes. But God bless you, Mr. Nobu. In Jesus' name. Well, Prophet Abraham, I want to say thank you and I love you. Terima kasih. I feel like this is a good reunion again. You know, we met briefly in Singapore. Yeah. And now here we are three, four years later, you know, three years later. So thank you for having me on today. I love you. I honor you. And I yeah. hope, I hope uh, in May, I would love to see you in Korea. Okay. And, uh, yeah. and I would love to come back to Indonesia next year. So we can talk as the Lord leads. You know, when you speak about the Korea, actually, when I'm in Bali, the Lord spoke to me for few nations, and one of them is Korea, actually. We pray for Korea, we pray for Korea, and yeah, Korea and Japan, actually, yeah. And when you speak about the Korea, yeah, I believe that if God's will and God's timing, we will come to May in Korea, yeah. Amen. I believe it's, God. I believe it's God's will, yeah. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Prophet Benny, you. for your you. and you got Ayin for interpreter. Thank you, Ayin. Yes. And if, if it's okay, why don't you guys follow me on YouTube, on social media? Saya Sayangi Indonesia. Banya, Banya, Indonesia. <laughs> Suka, Suka Jawa. <laughs> So have you come to Indonesia before? Oh yes, yes. Ministry for ministry? No. Yeah, ministry. Just oh, small ministry. Many years ago. 